Pretty much got off the plane straight into training. Well, which is good though, you know, helping with the jet lag and everything. So it was good fun. <laughs> and uh, straight onto the training paddock. Uh, I believe you know some of the boys as well, uh, and they were involved in you sort of getting into Wakefield. Yep, yeah, um, I had spoke to well, what like Dean Collis plays here, Paul Layton, and uh, Pori and Tim Smith, and I've all played with him at Cornell and Para. And, um, you know, Pori and Tim Smith have really given this place a wrap. You know, they said they love the lifestyle here and all the boys are here. And um, the club's a real good club. I guess it's, it's you know, you can see by looking at the sun behind it, it's a real sort of a tight-knit town that get behind the, the club. Uh, is, is that something you've sort of experienced before, this sort of close community? Um, not like this, though. Like, to have the whole town behind, like, the, the Wildcats. It's um it's a real good feeling, you know. Like you walk down the street, people are like saying hi and everything. Real friendly feeling, really. So um, yeah, it's pretty good. And uh, just give the the Wildcat fans a bit of a, an idea of what the sort of player that, that they can expect to see lining up on the on the part behind you. Um, a real physical kind of player. I um I really don't like taking a step back, and um, really competitive. And um, I don't know if I can match Pori getting sent off this first game but you know I'm willing to have a crack and to do what's necessary for the team. I believe you've played wing before played in the backs is that something that you you go back to is that or are you essentially a forward now? I um I still got some speed I think so but um I wasn't I never really liked playing wing I wasn't like I didn't really get a lot of ball out there so I like to play the forwards I think it's my game. Yeah. Coming over, you say you've already been into one training session uh, fit for the weekend, so you could be in the mix and in that pack for the, the weekend, by the sense of things. Yeah, so I spoke to the coach, he said I'd probably get some game time this week, um, and I was looking forward to it. Um, he told me before I came over, so I've kind of got my head around it. So um, yeah, I'll just hopefully look for the good fun. I'll be running out in a, in a, a Debut contest against Castleford, the close rivals, at Magic Weekend at Manchester City's ground. It'd be quite a quite a debut. Yeah, so um, you know everyone's talked about Magic City, said it's like a really big thing over here. You know all the teams playing at one stadium, especially against our rivals. So um, we're looking forward to that. You know it's kind of a good way to debut in the Super League. And, uh, in terms of Wakefield, the club, uh, how how much have you known about their sort of previous? The previous form, it's it's started to take an upturn recently. Yeah, um, I, they haven't really told me how they like went last year and everything, but all I know now is they're just out of the eight. But um, they're starting to play some really good football now. I think bar last week, but um, I think that they'll be like, or I hope that I can you know bring some extra to the team to um, get us in the top eight and play some good football. Yeah. I guess this is a good time for you to to come into the team mid season. Uh, everyone's, uh, you know, had had the rigors of the first half of the season, and now you can come in quite pretty fresh and and ready to attack it. Yeah, well, um, you know, that, I hope I hope I can bring that, and I think I can. Um, I th all I can do is just hope I can play some good football for the team. Really, yeah. Looking towards the, the end of the year in the World Cup, you, you're struggling for a bit of game time back in Oz, but uh, you've been promised it over here and it's something you'll be hoping to aim towards that time over squad. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, like you said, I didn't really get a lot of game time there. But um, you know, um, I'm here now and I saw like if I had to concentrate on this year, play some good football, then the Samoan selection will obviously just fall in place, you know, if it's meant to be, it is. But, yeah. What impression do you have of the English, the English game over here? What's your, you know, looking from from afar? What do you see of it? Um, it's very fast. It's, I think it's very exciting. You know, like a lot of the teams aren't afraid to throw the ball around. You know, it's very entertaining, and I think that's good for the for the gamey. You know, like kind of give the fans something to watch and something to be proud of, really. So, um, you know, I like to offload the ball a bit. So. Hopefully I can contain the crowd.
And I guess the, the ultimate aim now, coming in at this stage of the season, is to help Wakefield kick on to the to the playoffs and that top eight. Yep, definitely. Um, I think we can get in top eight, and I think that now, since we get there, you know, everything will fall into place with the finals and everything. But uh, it's just a matter of getting there first before we think about playing the finals. Okay, good luck. Thanks, mate.